beautiful. I can't let this moment pass. Yeah, I know my time is now. Know my mama proud of me and my grandma smiling down. Every time I turn it up, whole crowd be wilding out. Matter of fact, let me see your hands. Look, I saw my shot and I took it. I couldn't do it. It's Madden NFL 23, and there's no love lost between these AFC North foes. It's the Steelers and the Bengals, and it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the Queen City of Cincinnati and Paul Brown Stadium right on the banks of the Ohio River. Today, no waiting around. We jump right into an AFC North battle in week one between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals. Alongside Charles Davis up in the booth, I'm Brandon Gauden. Very pleased to be with you for another season of NFL football. And Charles, we are no stranger to rivalry games between Cincinnati and Pittsburgh. What is different is that the roles have kind of been reversed. Cincinnati comes in as a division favorites following last year's Super Bowl appearance. The Steelers, no more Big Ben, and they're now viewed as likely underdogs. And we've known that the roles have been reversed since last season and the entire offseason. Yet still hearing you say it, it still has to sink in. And I know the Bengals fans, they're very happy to see those roles reverse because they had dropped 11 straight to Pittsburgh prior to their recent resurgence. So this was a great test for both of these teams to start off this season. Pittsburgh with a new quarterback and Cincinnati coming off of the Super Bowl. Evan McPherson has this one teed up and we are underway from Cincinnati. Let's take it in at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. Here come the Steelers for the first time in this game with their free agent signing at quarterback, the former number two overall pick, Mitchell Trubisky. Mitchell Trubisky is getting his second chance to start in the NFL and will be with another storied franchise, this time the Pittsburgh Steelers. He slowly fell out of favor in Chicago after making a Pro Bowl in his second season. But what a lot of people don't realize is that he had a winning record as a starter in each of his last three years with the Bears. He convinced a lot of people as a backup in Buffalo, including Pittsburgh, that there's still something to be up. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the Bengals grab it. And this is taken into the end zone. Fumble recovery and a Cincinnati touchdown. So this defense clicking early in the year, week one, the return for a touchdown. The organization made a concerted effort in the offseason to improve this defense. I have to say they like the early returns. Evan McPherson for the extra point. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. Here's Johnson with a reception. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. They chalked that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. Well, he reminded us that he was a 1,000-yard receiver a year ago as he starts off week one picking up right where he left off. He told us at the end of the preseason he was primed for a big year. He just gave us excellent evidence of his belief. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Yeah. 
They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he gets it down to the 32. Seven yards there and a first down. Trubisky will throw. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Trey Hendrickson just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so they can throw the football. To try again after the sack. Trubisky looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Now Trubisky lost the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to, like a good golfer can check one up. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves it with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. Ten yards there on a bang of first. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. He gets this one to Boyd. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Throwing again on second down. Burrow. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets him on the board first, CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a the pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You're letting them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding? But how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We scored. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. They had the auspicious beginning to the season, a first drive turnover. Now they'll try again here first and ten. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, it's Mixon. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Burrow's throw caught by Higgins. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Ten yards there and a Bengal first. First down there for T. Higgins. Don't let it be lost in Jamar Chase's phenomenal season. The Higgins had a big year for Cincinnati as well. Topped the 1,000-yard plateau for the first time, and he did it despite missing a few games with injuries. The third-year man could give Cincy a pair of pro bowlers in a position here in 2022. Back to Mixon on second down. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Burrow will throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So on is the lefty, Kevin Huber, to kick it away for the Bengals here on fourth down.
And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And the Steelers are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. On first and 10, it's Trubisky. Complete, it's Johnson. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Harris running straight ahead, and he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Play action. It's Trubisky. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Won't be easy here after that sack. Now you got Trubisky and the Steelers facing a third and long. Flushed out right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Taylor now returning it. It'll be a 48-yard punt. Five there on the return. And the Bengals take over first and ten. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. 46 yards for him on the ground in this first quarter. He has been tremendous to start the new year. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. Here's Burrow. Throwing the out route, finding Boyd for the completion. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Back-to-back go. -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Mix it up the middle. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave it with a second and three. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. And he'll go down at the 28. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And the Steelers force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. From the 29, Trubisky. And the catch made by Johnson. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Again, it's Johnson. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now whistles here before the snap, and it looks like one of the Steelers may have moved. James Daniels, the guard, called for the penalty there. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. On the give, this is Harris. And he swallowed up right here on the scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. On his Presley Harvin now as he'll send this one away. 
He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 31 yards on the punt there. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. We'll remind you that coming up tonight, the first Sunday nighter of the new season. And how about this for a matchup? The Buccaneers and the Cowboys from Dallas, 8.20 Eastern. Then tomorrow, Monday night, just one game here in week one this year. And it'll pit the Broncos and Seahawks. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. T.J. Watt causing the disruption. He gets the sack. The CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though. And they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. And yeah, the next-gen stat's going to show just how much time he had to make a decision, and it's not much. Three seconds, the final clocking. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. First and 10 here for Trubisky and the Steelers at their own 27. Now Trubisky to throw. Pass complete. George Pickens with it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They go play action with Trubisky. And a dangerous throw there on the drop-off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. To throw again on second down, Trubisky gets past one man, and he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. They hand this off to Harris. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Gets by him at the 25. Stops short of the 25. The second effort couldn't free him. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Throwing here, Trubisky. Oh, able to avoid him. And they'll get this down to the 10. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Now it's Trubisky. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there and second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll run. Here's Harris. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Backed up here. Tough spot. Needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, Trubisky. And that is incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Boswell's kick is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7.
So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Joe Mixon and the Bengal offense ready to go back to work. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they here use go, that go. ground game maybe hey, to work hey, the air attack a little hey, bit more? Hey. I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it, because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with a run so far. Mixon with a first down carry. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now it's Burrow. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chest exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try to get two more stops and escape this drive. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw here on target to Hurst. And he'll get nothing out of that one. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Burrow on play action. And again, that's Hurst. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. McPherson's kick is good, and that will knock us up at 10. These kickers now it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny when we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the pace. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. On second down, this is Harris. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. This is Harris on the draw. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Now the Bengals are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. On the draw, it's Harris. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. This offense so far on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and nine. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Johnson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. All tied up at 10. Two minutes left in the first half. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, 
you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Looking to throw again, Trubisky eluding the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Now Chris Boswell for the Steelers' field goal try. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. Boswell's kick is good, and they will take the lead at 13-10. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown. Such an electric play, so much fun to watch. And you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, don't you? Without a doubt. That's, that's teamwork, to be able to put it all together. But that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Here's Trubisky. He's got Fuller. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Trubisky now to throw on third down. He's got his tight end fire youth over the middle. And he will have a Steelers first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Out of the gun. Trubisky. Oh, this is going to be caught along the sidelines. Probably shouldn't have been caught. He's going to lose yardage there. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. It's Najee Harris now on back-to-back -back plays with a catch. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. This will be play number seven on the drive, third and a yard. Now Trubisky. He's got his tight end Fryer Muth right side. And he will have a Steelers first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. Now Chris Boswell for the Steelers' field goal try. From the right hash, this from 48. Boswell's kick is good, and that'll bring him back within a point. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. 
So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season, so let's take our first trip around the NFL. We begin 2022 up in the Tar Heel State. Cleveland paying the opening day visit to Carolina. And it's the Panthers who are out in front. Baker Mayfield with a couple of touchdown passes. From there, we head over to Detroit. Check on the Lions at home, Ford Field. And they currently trail the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. It's Jalen Hurts with a couple of touchdown passes. Finally, we finish at MetLife Stadium to see what's going on with the Jets. And that game's gone to the half, all even, at 10-10. Time now for a check of the next-gen stats for the Steelers in that first. It looks like we'll have to wait another week to get our first halftime report of the season as we move right along to the second half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. From the six. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And the Bengal offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. And Charles, they got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly hooked on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 76 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. First down, here's Burrow. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. And Burrow gonna be hit and taken down. They got him. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he's on to bunt for Cincinnati. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. To throw once more on second and 10, Trubisky. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone get two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Now it's Trubisky. And a throw there going to be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Steelers send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today.
35 yards that time on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Play clock down to five, and they're going to burn a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here we go. Here we go. The drive will commence with a run by Mixon. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, kind of just took his medicine there and took the one yard. 27 yards there, first down. Over the middle, complete. It's Boyd. And he's going to be taken down at the 28 yard line. Play action. It's Burrow. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And he'll be brought down at about the 23 yard line. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's able to use the size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. This is caught. It's Boyd. Touchdown, Bengals. Tyler Boyd. 23 yards for the touchdown. And they are able to add on to their advantage. And this is no good. It's a missed extra point. Boy, in a tight game, how important might that turn out to be here as the second half rolls along? So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. They get just a yard back there, and now they'll be looking at a tough third and 15. Tall task ahead of them here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. I would dare say that these guys would like to give their defense a little bit more rest since they gave up a touchdown their last time out. But alas, my man, that's not going to happen. Yep, they're going to have to grab those helmets, get right back out there. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Taylor now to return it. A very good punt, but a 16-yard return. And the Bengals will take over in terrific field position. Here again comes Joe Burrow in the offense for the Bengals. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverages last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, OK, here we, go, here we, go. we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Well, speed is definitely a calling card if you play cornerback in this league, and he does a terrific job there of hustling in quickly to make the play. And that is a situation where in a defender's mind, you just have to pick a point on the football field and think to yourself, 
I'm going to sprint full out and meet him at that point. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but he had to play diagnosed perfectly there. And his top speed, as computed by Next Gen Stats, not bad. He was pushing 20 miles an hour. 90 yards rushing here for Mixon. He's got a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? On first and ten, Joe Burrow avoids the target and he has it over the middle. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Third and goal. Burrow. Open man is Higgins, and he's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Four yards on the touchdown grab, and the Bengals go up by two touchdowns. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright, and it's no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the inline. And the Steelers set to take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. They run again with Harris. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Play action. Now Trubisky. Out route, and he connects with Firemuth. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. On first down, Trubisky. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Eli Apple. 30, 10, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TV. Well, if there was any thought that this thing might turn around for this offense in the second half, I think those thoughts pretty well dashed after that interception return there. It just has not been a good outing for this unit whatsoever. There's no other way to say it. They've been overmatched, haven't performed to the level that they've needed, and that throw there just going to contribute to this game getting out of hand. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. There is Deontay Johnson as the Steeler offense gets set for this next series. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now it's Trubisky. And that would get to be off target and incomplete. George Pickens is intended receiver there, and that'll make it third down. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Sam Hubbard in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And here's Taylor on the return. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at the 40. 
He'll hand it off here. This is Mixon. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. That's it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get in the huddle. Back to Mixon on second down. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 104 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. We are through three quarters here on NFL kickoff weekend. Back now in Cincinnati. Here we go, here we go. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Again, it's Mixon. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. Inside handoff to Nixon. A solid stiff arm. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. From the gun, a give to Mixon. And he pulls his way into the end zone for a bingo touchdown. Joe Mixon, his first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Bengals are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Here's Trubisky to throw. Quick completion here to Johnson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Trubisky will throw. Open man. That's the tight end fire move. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And he's going to be forced out of bounds inside the five-yard line. Trubisky to throw again. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Bengals are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over. about ready to go here on their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. And they'll go 
right back to Evans. And he's got some space here. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Evans running behind center. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. A give up the middle to Evans. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. First throw now for the backup, Allen. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll wind up being a huge loss on the play. First and 10 here for Trubisky and the Steelers. Just shy of the 30. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. To throw on second and 10. Trubisky. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Trey Hendrickson picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Talk about vocabulary isn't that great, but to me, there's only one word that fits this front seven today, and that's dominant. Four and five sacks is already rare in one game. Getting to more than six in one contest while winning by this many points, an absolutely astounding effort by every player involved. Trubisky, Johnson's got it complete. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in his performance. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Throwing here, Trubisky. He finds his man, Johnson. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. To throw again on second down. Trubisky. Again, it's Johnson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 29-yard line. From the gun, it's Trubisky. That's complete to his tight end, Friar move. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Now Trubisky on first down. He finds Pickens over the middle. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Looking to throw again, Trubisky. Throw left side, going to be taken in by Harris. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. On third and one, it's Trubisky. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. 
Picked by Logan Wilson. And the Bengals are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. The Bengals drive about to get going. They try to eat some clock with Mixon. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1 0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season, and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for centuries.